Former NT Chief Minister Adam Giles denies any knowledge of the mistreatment of detainees in the Territory's youth justice system. Mr Giles repeatedly told the Royal Commission that he could not recall when or if he was ever told of systemic failings within youth detention. Reporter Georgia Hitch joins us now live. And Georgia, what has Adam Giles said so far? Uh, well, as you mentioned, there has been a lot of I don't recalls from Adam Giles throughout his evidence this morning. He's been asked repeatedly about when he was made aware of some of the failings in youth detention centres and every time he's been asked, uh, or nearly every time, he's mentioned that he can't recall exactly when or if he was told. And it's been put to him a number of times about different reports that were commissioned by his ministers and the Commissioner for Corrections uh, under his government. And again, he said that he can't recall being told about those reports. Um, he did acknowledge that they had come up and that the general um, theme that work needed to be done in youth detention centres was something that he was aware of. But he did say that that was something that he had, uh, I guess, inherited from the previous Labor government and that he'd known there were issues with child protection, but he didn't realise the extent of the youth detention. But uh, yeah, he, he did repeatedly say that these were issues that he couldn't recall hearing about. and. One of the, um, I guess, interesting things is that yesterday we heard from the minister, former Minister for Corrections, John Elfrink, who painted a, a quite a bit different picture. He said that he had approached the Cabinet to seek more funding for youth detention, raising issues about um, Dondale Youth Detention Centre in particular, and that on one occasion he had taken the former Chief Minister, Adam Giles, to Dondale to show him the state of affairs and to uh, show him why that extra funding was needed. But Adam Giles uh, this morning has said that he can't remember, he doesn't uh, recall that ever being said to him, and it sparked the council of assisting the Royal Commission, Peter Morrissey, to ask him this. How can that be that you, as Chief Minister, were not aware of what appears to be a major shortfall in an important portfolio within your government? Well, you have ministers responsible for individual portfolios who look after those portfolios. Um, and then, you, of course, you have a CEO or a commissioner in corrections case uh, and all the staff who have a responsibility in that area. I mean, not everything makes its way up to you. Now, Georgia, yesterday the Royal Commission also heard criticisms that the Giles government had demonised juvenile offenders through their tough-on-crime approach. Did Adam Giles say anything or make any reference about that today? Yes, he was asked about that earlier this morning, about whether this tough-on-crime approach, uh, whether there was any evidence to prove that it reduced recidivism rates. And he said he disagreed with the former Corrections Minister, John L. Frank, who said yesterday that that was a direct, um, a, a direct policy move from the Chief Minister when they were looking to go to the next election, that he had been asked to create a set of policies that they could take to the election about being tough on crime for the voters and that it was electorally favourable. Now, uh, the chief, former Chief Minister Adam Giles has completely disagreed with that. He said that the tough on crime approach, it didn't flavour their policies, it was just more of a stance. He wanted the streets to be safe, for people to feel like they were safe at night, and that he, in fact, really wanted to explore options of restorative justice. He didn't want to have children in youth detention. He wanted to try and get them away from detention as much as possible. But he also said that youth detention wasn't something he spoke about very often. Um, and as uh, you heard, and as I was saying before, he also says that he, he didn't recall ever hearing much about youth detention. So he, he has really sort of um, disputed that tough on crime approach and that his government ever made out these children to be um, to be rat bags or the worst of the worst or some of the other things that we've heard. Georgia Hitch reporting from Darwin. Many thanks.